Hey guys, welcome back to Taylor series. Here's another great one for you. So I chose this function, x minus sine of x over x to the third. I'm going to create a Taylor series. So typically, if you've seen the other videos, what we did was we took a lot, a lot of derivatives, and then we used this formula right there that I just highlighted in order to uh, write the Taylor series. But in this case, if you try to take the derivative of this quotient, it's gonna become really, really messy. So we have to come up with a different way of doing this. So let's do this. We know, I hope we know, that sine x is an odd function, and we know that it alternates, and we know that the exponents match the factorials in the bottom. I'm gonna stop right there, and we're gonna just do that, right? That's sine x. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to take that x and subtract it, okay? So that's the most important part now. So now I'm gonna say x minus sine x is, well, this guy will cancel out, right? So it's gonna be x minus this whole thing. Now, be careful with the sign because I almost just did it. I almost put the sine x before the x, okay? Now this guy here, x minus the first x, cancel out, and then you get positive x to the third over three factorial minus x to the fifth over five factorial plus x to the seven over seven factorial. Wonderful, let's change colors. I can't believe I'm using the same color. Now I'm gonna divide by x to the third in each case. So x minus sine x over x to the third. You guys are really smart. That's just gonna give you one over three factorial. Remind yourselves that three factorial, five factorial, and seven factorial are just coefficients, okay? What do we do when we get x to the fifth divided by x to the third? Same base, subtract exponents. X to the seventh divided by x to the third, same base, subtract exponents. And so, and the question might say a fourth degree Taylor polynomial. So, and that's how we do this. It's very simple. You start with what you know, and then you work with the things around it. Now come back for some other ones. And if you guys are taking the AP Calculus BC, there's a really great question that I have posted on my past video that they asked, which was sine x squared minus cosine x, and I believe it was divided by something, or maybe that was just it. All right, so check out those videos. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you for the love and support.